Marrakesh's hotel and catering sector is suffering losses from cancellations following Morocco's 6.8 magnitude earthquake. Mehdi Ben Yahya owns a Riyadh, a traditional home with multiple stories centered around an open air courtyard. His hotel is located in the neighborhood of the historic Medina, which didn't suffer any damage. We're having a lot of consolations, especially for Riyadhs like us that don't own swimming pools and for whom the dry season is the off season. We were hoping that the launching town of the IMF annual meetings in October would give us some work. But with the earthquake, we're having nothing but cancellations. Since the earthquake, we've had several cancellations on our Riyadh's website. But fortunately, there are people who come to support us and help us out. We can say that there are about 70% of cancellations. Still, there are people who are coming. The Medina of Marrakesh is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Only some of its neighborhoods were damaged on September 8th. Ramadan al Haras regrets that truncated news reports have deterred tourists. It hurts. What we see on TV, the media and social networks, there are reports that Marrakesh had fallen and that it lost the old Medina. But that is not true. There's only the Jewish quarter in Marrakesh that has been affected. Old buildings that needed to be refurbished anyway, like the Kharbusha Mosque in Jamalfna. Morocco's tourism industry represented 7.1% of its GDP in 2019, according to OECD figures. A record 2.9 million tourists visited in the first quarter of 2023. Some now fear the economic repercussions of the earthquake.